Hi everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. For this year Halloween, I decided to research something new. As I'm currently in Ireland, here's a bit Irish mythology for you. Halloween draws its roots from 2000 years ago when ancient Celts marked the end of the summer and the harvest and the beginning of the dark, cold winter. They call it Samhain, a Celtic New Year. For this illustration, I chose to draw Hag of Bera, also known as the White Nun of Bera or the Old Woman of Dingle, a mythic Irish goddess, which is according to Irish mythology burned on Samhain and ruled the winter months until Beltine, the spring festival in which her counterpart Bridge or Bridget would take over. Here I am sketching my hag and deciding on a composition of a character. At this stage, I wasn't sure how she would look like, except that I wanted her to be in a dress, with her hair blowing on the wind, carrying stones, bits and pieces in her hand. In early sketch, her dress looked like an old cloth and I wanted it to be made out of stone, but you'll see me scratch that idea and turned only her body to stone. The dress became Celtic white gown with a ruana, Celtic shawl, across her shoulder. I couldn't decide what kind of a background I wanted and you'll see there are some kind of a rocky scenery I started to sketch but then I changed it to the cliff because in the legend a rock at the cliffs of Moher represent the fossilized remains of her face staring out at the ocean and awaiting her husband to return to her. Though the Hag of Bera myth permitted the whole west coast of Ireland, her story is particularly associated with the southwest and the Bera Peninsula in County Cork. In the story, the Hag is depicted as a woman turning to stone while awaiting the return of her husband Mananan, the god of the sea. When it came to coloring, I knew that I wanted snowy and frosty feel as she is goddess of winter. As according to legend, tombs at Caramore and in the Darty Mountains got there because as she flew over the region with her apron full of stones, she accidentally dropped them and they scattered across the region. Today is actually day after Halloween, so it's called Feast of All Saints, the Hallowed Ones.
her stone part on the skin to look realistic so I added cracks and used combination of colors and strokes to make that happen. time to settle on her face because I wanted her to look Celtic without telling you she's Celtic.
I added freckles made out of stone also. In the end, I added frost all over her because when you left freshly washed clothes outside in the winter, they would become frosty. In the end, I added snowflakes all around her and I added text that says Hag of Berra, but age looks like an F for some reason, so somebody could read it as a flag of Berra. I actually have a video coming up more about this theme with my friend Arvi, so you can check it out tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.